The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championships. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? This is EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's the Netherlands versus France. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard fought contest here today, Derek. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Hacke. Mbappe, a small stop here. The <laughs> Esman tasked with taking the corner. Well, not cleared away completely. I think the threat has been averted. It is a free kick. The through ball. It's still alive. And putting pain to the danger. Right, superbly to take back possession. Well, memories, memories. France, the winners back in 1984 with Michel Platini, they made an attacking force. Then in 2000, it was Zinedine Zidane, the headline act, as they won again. But they haven't prevailed at the Euros since then, Stuart. Nevertheless, there isn't a better team in this competition than France on paper. I don't think there is a better team. Even though they lost to Argentina in the World Cup final, I thought they were the best team in the tournament. And I think they're going to be the side to beat here. They've got lots of good players and a manager that knows what he wants from his team. They could go all the way. Oh, he'll take us on! Using his body to good effect. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be that's the kind of shielding play you expect from him Kylian Mbappe fine ball from Antoine Griezmann Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So, back underway, with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Simons. Well, a stylish moment. Here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish.
So back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Dumfries continues his run. Always left his marker for dead. Jack Ball. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, there you have it. Just not enough going forward for them today. They've lacked tempo, they've lacked a sense of urgency, and above all, a bit of quality. It's been very disappointing. And they still don't have the ball. It has been a recurring theme. Perhaps Griezmann! Superbly read and executed. Good idea. Fruitful looking attack. This could level it. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. And France finding space on the flank. He needs an accurate cross. Rebier! Oh my goodness! He's called that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, let's look at this again, Derek because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. So back underway, 3-1 the score. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, choose your descriptive word where Kylian Mbappe is concerned. Explosive is one adjective you could use, Stuart. Well, he's been a joy to watch so far. He's got so much ability, and it was also a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. So, back in business, and France dominating the proceedings in the first 45. Will it be different in the second half? to make a change. And a strong tackle. France moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Plenty of time for Olivier Giroud. for now. Good run, very much in control of the situation. That's a good looking pass. Good pull one back here. And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top class reaction from a top class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. About the short corner. De Jong. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Zero. Mbappe. He ran the situation defensively and did his job. 30 minutes to go then. to make it a brace, but not to be. Well, he's certainly been a threat in this game. He's looked so lively. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Disappointing for France to give it away like that. And teammates around him. Spot on with that tackle. Well placed 
stopped. It is a free kick. And the referee has caught up with him following his indiscretion earlier. minutes remaining. Giroud. the little nick on the way through so a throw in coming up Frankie de Jong and the referee playing advantage nicely time tackle Dembele chance to cross well they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity Time for the change now. Ake. Rinders. Good freeze. And the bye on the ball. Ake. Now with the young. Nathan Ake here. the replay what a superb volley this is he strikes it so cleanly and he times it perfectly away again and we're being treated to plenty of goals 3-2 at the moment well, that's common sense refereeing to play advantage he was very keen to give them the advantage but instead it will be a free kick now this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, it's a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. And a player who brings a tremendous amount of energy to the pitch, Adrien Rabiot, and we've enjoyed this performance from him, Stuart. Well, he scored one and could have had a lot more, but if you keep getting into the right areas, the goals will come. I thought he was very good today.